This video will guide you through the installation procedure for the SRAM ETAP Access Groupset. ETAP Access is an intuitive high-performance groupset that will allow you to focus on what's most important, your ride. View a full list of tools and supplies in the video description below. And review the user manual at sram.com forward slash service. Install a charged SRAM battery into the derailleurs. Pairing allows each component to communicate when a shift command is transmitted. Begin the pairing session with the rear derailleur. Press the access button until the green LED blinks slowly, then release. Once the rear derailleur is in pairing mode, the components can be paired in any order. Press the access button on each component until the LED blinks quickly, then release. Press and release the access button on the rear derailleur to end the pairing session. Check that the pairing was successful by shifting the derailleurs. The pairing process does not need to be repeated when the batteries are removed and or replaced. Apply friction paste to the inner clamping surface when installing on carbon fiber handlebars. Failure to do so may lead to the clamp slipping, which may cause the rider to crash, resulting in injury or death. Install the shift brake lever onto the handlebar and set it to your desired position. Fold the hood cover so that you can access the shifter clamp bolt. Then, tighten the clamp. Repeat these steps to install the second shifter. Consult the Road Access Hose Shortening and Bleed Guide for hose routing and measuring instructions. View the Flat Mount Brake Caliper installation video for specific information on your setup with SRAM hydraulic brakes. Otherwise, consult your brake manufacturer's installation instructions for all other brakes. The front derailleur must be in the outboard position to begin installation. For bicycles with a brazon mount, position the derailleur onto the brazon, then install the washer and bolt. Tighten the bolt enough to keep the derailleur from sliding down. Make sure the derailleur is in the outboard position. Then adjust the height so that the tip of the tallest chainring tooth appears within the setup line when viewed directly from the side. Rotate the derailleur to align the guide marks on the derailleur to the large chainring. Shift the derailleur into the inboard position. Adjust the low limit screw until the outer cage plate is directly over the large chainring. The front derailleur limits will be finalized after the chain installation. Measure the space between the tallest tooth of the large chainring and the bottom edge of the cage plate. The gap must be between 1 to 2 millimeters. Once the final height and rotation of the derailleur is set, tighten the derailleur bolt. Make sure the derailleur does not move as you tighten the bolt. Shift the derailleur into the outboard position. The wedge provides additional support for brazon mounted front derailleurs. Use of a wedge is strongly recommended as it will enhance shifting function and performance. Test fit each wedge to determine which one best fits the gap between the frame or brazon and the derailleur without moving the derailleur. Loosely install the wedge bolt to the derailleur. Make sure the wedge lightly contacts the frame or brazon. Then tighten the bolt hand tight. Make sure the wedge does not contact the rear tire. If the rear tire contacts the wedge or the wedge bolt, do not use a wedge. The ETAP access system is only compatible with SRAM XDR cassettes. For cassette installation procedure, review the SRAM XD and XDR cassette installation video. Apply a thin layer of grease to the rear derailleur hanger threads. Use a derailleur hanger alignment tool to make sure the hanger is straight. If the hanger is bent, it can result in shifting problems. Shift the derailleur to the second largest cog, or second from the most inboard position, using the access button. Two quick presses shifts the derailleur inboard, and one press shifts the derailleur outboard. Do not manually force the derailleur to move inboard or outboard, as this can cause damage to the motor. Install the derailleur onto the hanger and tighten the bolt.
the pulley wheel must be aligned with the center of the second largest cog. If it is not, use the micro adjust feature. Press and hold the shifter access button while pressing the shift paddle. The right shifter will adjust the derailleur outboard 0.25 millimeters, and the left shifter will adjust the derailleur inboard 0.25 millimeters. The rear derailleur may not appear to move. Watch for the derailleur LED to flash to confirm the derailleur executed the command. Shift the rear derailleur inboard to the largest cog. The derailleur cage may contact the rear wheel before the chain is installed. This is normal. Adjust the low limit screw so that it lightly contacts the inner link of the derailleur. Shift outboard to the smallest cog. To provide an optimal chain line, the system does not allow shifting into the small chain ring and small cog combination. The LED on the rear derailleur will blink red and green if this combination is attempted. Make sure the front derailleur is in the outboard position in order to shift to the smallest cog. Adjust the high limit screw until it lightly touches the inner link of the rear derailleur. Wrap the chain around the large chain ring and largest cog with the flat edge facing outward. For two by systems, add one outer link and one inner link where the chain starts to overlap. For one by systems, add two inner links and two outer links where the chain starts to overlap. Use a Park Tool CT 3.3 chain breaker tool to break the chain. Use of a chain tool other than the one recommended can damage the chain. Move the chain to the smallest cog and route the chain through the rear derailleur pulleys and above the tab in the cage. Pull each end of the chain together and install the power lock. The arrow on the power lock must point in the direction of chain travel before locking the power lock into place. Once locked, the power lock cannot be reused. Check that the two halves of the power lock are properly aligned. Rotate the crank until the power lock is above the chainstay. And apply the rear brake while firmly pushing the crank arm down to lock the power lock. You should hear and feel the power lock click into place. Check that the power lock moves freely. The power lock is designed for one-time use only. The power lock can only be removed with master link pliers and must not be reused. Install a new power lock each time a new chain is installed. Shift the rear derailleur inboard to the largest cog. Install the chain gap adjustment gauge onto the upper pulley wheel. Turn the B adjust screw to align the tallest teeth of the largest cog with the groove outline on the gauge that matches your cassette size. The front derailleur must be in the outboard position to set the high limit screw. If the front derailleur high limit screw is adjusted while in the inboard position, it can permanently damage the derailleur. The high limit screw is reverse threaded. Shift the rear derailleur outboard to the smallest cog. Turn the high limit screw clockwise to move the cage inboard, counterclockwise to move it outboard until there is 0.5 to 1 millimeter of clearance between the inside of the outer derailleur plate and the chain. Shift the chain to the small chain ring and the largest rear cog. Turn the low limit screw clockwise to move the cage outboard and counterclockwise to move the cage inboard until there is 0.5 millimeters of clearance between the inside of the inner derailleur plate and the chain. With the rear derailleur fully inboard, make sure the low limit screw still lightly contacts the inner link of the rear derailleur. Shift the front derailleur to the large chain ring. Shift the rear derailleur outboard to the smallest cog. Make sure the high limit screw still lightly contacts the inner link of the rear derailleur. Optimize rear derailleur shift performance and eliminate unwanted rasping sounds by fine-tuning the rear derailleur with micro-adjustments. Press and hold the left shifter access button while pressing the shifter paddle to eliminate rasping sounds when shifting from a smaller cog to a larger cog. Micro-adjust the right shifter to move the derailleur outboard. 
to eliminate rasping sounds when shifting from a larger cog to a smaller cog. After your SRAM access components are installed and set up on your bicycle, download the SRAM access app, available for free in the app stores. Use the app to create your account, add your components, and customize your SRAM access experience. This concludes the installation procedure for the SRAM ETAP access system.